hello everyone now let's check this video and this video will help us to learn how to use the quick firmware repair solutions for the Samsung pension hard drives now we can check that this Samsung quick firmware repair solutions are available within the DFL DDP data recovery program to use this kind of common firmware repair solutions, we need to connect a common cable and please pay attention to spout rate that is the 57600. So we need to open the COM port first and then we click the Samsung button and next we power on the pension drives. We can see that this kind of come terminal messages and finally we get this ENG prompt now at this time we can try to use the one click firmware repair solutions for the Samsung hard drives and let's first try the LED this is one common firmware failure for the Samsung drives and user just need to use one simple click and after that and we can fix the pension drives by this simple click so it's very easy for the Samsung because for most Samsung drives if users cannot access to data error or sometimes the drives is busy and most of the over 80% cases we receive are caused by the physical head failure but for firmware failure, the most common cases are the LED cases. That is actually the A list issue. So, to use the LED fix solution, and users can use another uh, quick firmware repair uh, solution that is clears A list. A list is actually is released in the Samsung drive so we just simply click the clear A list and this can also help to fix the LED issue and within the log window we can check the operation success that means this kind of LED uh, something issue can be fixed by this clear A list just one simple click Sometimes for some users, they need to use the other common from repair solutions such as the reset smart, remove the password, soft reset, and hard reset. Anyway, this kind of reset solutions are very easy because for some drives, users just need to click soft reset and the drive becomes normal. These kind of options, uh, they, they don't affect the data, so users can rest assured to use, use them. So we just check the log window and make sure the operation is executed successfully. Like sometimes when users receive the pension drive and users are told that the drive got a password to remove, so users just click remove the password and after that the programmer starts to read this password and then remove it. Now we can also see that operation success just by this simple click. So with the with the the DFL DDP data recovery program, users cannot only do disk image file extraction, but can also do many uh, common firmware repair by these simple buttons for different hard drive brands. For something, it's very easy. For Samsung drive the most common cases are the physical head issue cases and uh, some the LED cases, anist corruption 
sometimes just to require the reset. And then another type of common cases for the Samsung drives are the PCB issue. Users just need to swap the PCB with the same PCB number or the same firmware version. And some for some uh, Samsung drives, users just need to use the hot swap method to access to the data error. So that's that's all for Samsung data recovery. So it's very really easy if users have this. DFL DDP data recovery program. For physical cases, of course, users can get the head and platter swap tools from Dolphin Data Lab and then, of course, need to have one clean bench at least. Then users can do with different kind of Samsung data recovery cases. Thank you for watching this video. This is Dorfin Data Lab, Techlick Spot Team.